Hi guys, this is Nasim here, and in this video, I'll be going over horses in BDM. Since Black Desert Mobile has portals, horses were less important here than the online version. However, with the introduction to the tier 8 horse, horses became a little more important. The first reason is that the tier 8 horses can do a quantum jump, which is just a fancy way of saying teleport. This allows us to go to a saved farming spot really quickly. This can also be used during Black Sun, so try to abuse it if you have a tier 8 horse. Alright, let's go over how we can obtain a tier 8 horse. When you breed two horses of the same tier, you get an offspring that is a tier higher than its parents. So if you breed two level 2 horses, you will get a tier 3 horse. Up to tier 7, the breed success rate is 100%. However, when you breed two tier 7 horses, the chance of getting a tier 8 horse is very low. Just remember that your horses need to be max level in order to breed it. There are two different ways of leveling up your horse. The first method is to take the horse with you and farm mobs. The mobs that you defeat will give both you and your horse experience points. The second method is to take a horse that is already at max level. When you defeat mobs with the maxed out horse, you will get food that can level up your horse. You can feed this food and level up your other horses. If you upgrade your stable, you can keep more horses and your food storage will increase as well. Now that we know how to breed them, let's go tame some horses. We need some materials when taming horses. At each town, you can look for NPCs with this icon. Go to the shop and buy horse taming ropes and raw sugar. Just note that NPCs in Valencia don't sell raw sugar. Once you have these materials, you have to go look for horses. If you don't know where to go, you can look at the map and look for this statement. Wild Horse Capture Area. Once you go to the correct map, look at the minimap and look for the horse icons. There might be a horse there, if not, just go to the next spot. If you tame a horse, another horse will spawn in one of the other spawn locations. Currently, tier 1, 2, and 3 can be spawned from these maps. To save time, I recommend taming tier 3 horses only. Tier 3 horses look like this. Once you find the tier 3 horse, go near them and tap on the taming button. Make sure there is some distance between you and the horse because if you are too close, this will happen. Once you've successfully hooked on to your horse, walk towards it. You will be given the option to feed sugar. Always feed sugar until you max out the percentage. Silver is cheap and we need to go back to Hadoom as soon as possible. Once you max out the probability of taming it, hop on and play the minigame. You just need to stay inside the screen area by moving the D-pad up and down. Once this is done, you will know if you tamed it or not. If you successfully tamed it, it will be at your stable now. If you caught enough horses, feed them with this button to level them up to level 10. Then, with two horses of the same tier at level 10, you can breed them to get the next tier horse. Repeat this until you have two tier 7 horses, and you can try for the tier 8 horse. When you breed two tier 7 horses, you also need to buy this apple from this merchant. Once everything is ready, you are ready 
for your first tier 8 horse attempt. The probability is low, so I don't recommend doing something like 10 in a row. What I did was prepare a lot of tier 7 horses and tried once every day. I got my tier 8 horse on the third day. Fuck! Let's move on to what horse skills you should look for. There are two different types of horse skills. The horse bonding skill and the general skills. The bonding skill is a buff that you get when you bond with your horse. Without life plus, your buff only lasts for 30 minutes. If you have life plus, your buff will last for 3 hours. You can bond with your horse before a node war or a siege war for some extra CP. The best bond skills are the ones that give you CP. If you don't like the bond skill, you can change it with this horse bond coupon which is 30 white pearls. The general skills might be a little more confusing, but I will recommend the best skills to have and explain them. The best skills to have are Pack Horse, Accelerate, Enhanced Bonding, and Sprint or Instant Rush. Pack Horse allows your horse to carry more LT. Now that we have Hadoom, LT isn't a problem anymore, but this skill is better to have just in case than to have other useless skills. Accelerate allows your horse to run at a speed that is one tier higher. For example, if your tier 2 horse has this skill, it can run as fast as a tier 3 horse. Enhanced bonding increases the amount of CP you gain from your horse bonding skill. As you see here, my horse bond skill is plus 33 AP and 33 DP. But if you look at the applied buffs, I am actually getting 40 AP and 40 DP. Finally, the sprint and instant rush are similar skills. They both allow your horse to run at a really fast speed for some time, but you can only get instant rush on horses that are tier 6 or higher. I've used around 20 skill change coupons and never saw this skill, so you can just use sprint instead. There is one last skill I want to mention, that is the fast learner skill. If your horse has this skill, it will level up much quicker. So you can level up your horse to level 10 first, then switch the skill out if you have some white pearls to spend. Horses are also important when you do merchantry. If you haven't been doing merchantry, and you want to try it out, you can also check out my merchant tree guide as well. Alright, peace! I need to know if you'll give me a second chance They don't come on often but please you know I can't stand it When you don't talk to me